Hello. Did you know that 1% of the population are male psychopaths and 0.3 to 0.7% are female? Women account for just over 11% of all serial murder cases in the past century. Now, I really hope this topic never relates to any of you, obviously, but if it did, this could be good information to know. I would like to say I am an expert on this subject from reading crime websites, watching 15 seasons of Criminal Minds twice, and from FBI statistics. Now, I'm here to convince you all that women can plan, execute, and get away with murder better than men. So to do this, I'll be explaining how people don't usually suspect women from murderers, how they can plan and execute a murder better, and how they can better get away with homicide. So for my first point, women are less suspected when a homicide has been committed. Firstly, people don't usually suspect a woman would be capable of overpowering others, let alone a man, to be able to commit homicide, meaning they wouldn't necessarily be a suspect. This would also lead to my next point that female violence is such an extreme departure from the feminine traits of gentleness and compassion that people would never think a woman would commit such a violent act. Also considering that there are less reported female offenders and that it's so rare for a woman to be the killer, they aren't the first thing people think of when coming up with a suspect pool. So if women are less suspected for homicide offenders than men, they can get away with murder much easier and ultimately better. Now to consider my second point, women are better at planning and executing a murder. They are far more low key when killing than men are. Studies looking at the MO female offenders show that they're more likely to kill by drowning, poisoning, or suffocating, whereas men use brute force and more violent means of killing. In addition, men are more likely to sexually assault their victims, which, grossly enough, leaves more evidence, such as DNA. Both these points prove that women have a better execution considering they leave less evidence at the crime scene. Also since, women are, also, since women aren't usually seen as threats, they could easily use that to their advantage. Most people uh, are more likely to let their guard down with a woman rather than a man, obviously. It also takes, women, it also takes men less time to perceive a woman as a threat compared to other men, which could easily be used to a woman's advantage as well. Now on to my second point, my last point. Women, a woman can get away with a homicide better than a man. So sh studies show that in 2020, there were 8,977 murder offenders that were male in the US, which is almost seven times the number of female murder offenders. With this information, you can assume that less women are getting arrested for murder simply because they aren't getting caught. Female murder offenders are also very under-researched, making them much harder to catch, which of course is very advantageous for them as well. Also, most people, especially men, are less likely to report a crime or threat leading up to a murder if their offender is a woman. Consequently, investigators wouldn't even know to look for a woman in the first place. Now to summarize everything that's been talked about, women can better scheme, carry out, and get away with murder. Not only are women less suspected when a homicide has been committed, but they're better at planning, executing, and getting away with a homicide than men. Now, if all goes well, none of you will ever need this information, but on the off chance that you will, hopefully this knowledge is helpful, especially to the ladies.